They have a mayor. They don't have a mayor. Sunland Park is making a case for itself as the most dysfunctional town in the U.S. Tonight, city councilors were supposed to pick a new mayor again. Instead, there was a firing and scuffles. And in the end, the decision was called off. Here's News 13's Alex Goldsmith. Jessica Sunland Park only has about 14,000 people, but it seems to have an endless list of problems. And that list only got longer tonight. City Councilor and Mayor Pro Tem Isabel Santos fired the city clerk before the meeting for, quote, not following instructions, unquote. And then she tried to call the whole thing off. And I will, will like to postpone this meeting. Santos walked out saying it was an illegal meeting, but the city attorney gave the go-ahead for city council to try to pick a mayor over the phone. City council originally picked 24-year-old retail clerk Javier Perea as the new mayor two weeks ago. No vetting, no background check. He basically applied for the job and was chosen on the spot. But because some of the overflow crowd was shut out of that meeting, the attorney general ruled Sunland Park needed to pick a mayor all over again. Councilors are still considering runner-up mayoral candidate Gerardo Hernandez, the guy who was secretly taped getting a lap dance from a stripper. Both men made their pitch tonight, and Hernandez says the job should be his because Perea wasn't in the race. I feel a little um, out of place because to run for a mayor, you need to be in campaign. I think the greatest leaders are made in times of crisis. And Sunland Park is at a point where they need somebody to stand up. But the council said they needed more time and put off a decision until May 14th when they'll hold yet another meeting. The state auditor tells us his report on Sunland Park's finances should be done sometime next week. The state has threatened to take over the troubled border town. Back to you, Jessica. Okay, Alex. Now, if you're keeping score, trouble started last year when the mayor was ousted for making a million dollar deal for the city while drunk. He was replaced by Daniel Salinas, the winner of the March election, who was never sworn in. Salinas is in jail on more than 30 charges for fraud, kickbacks, and extortion. Accused of paying an operative with city money to make that sex tape, and accused of using city money to buy prostitutes and to basically live it up on the city's dime. More than 10 city workers have been arrested as this mess has unfolded.